Hey everybody, it's Hitman from BlackOpsFishing.com. Things have been pretty exciting for me lately. Connecticut is considered a catastrophe state right now. One from the blizzard and two from the ice jams on the Connecticut River. The blizzard had 85 mile an hour winds that did a lot of storm damage. We had weeks of frigid temperatures that caused burst pipes everywhere. And when you get a burst pipe, you don't always know until there's a thaw. So every day I've been out getting new water damage jobs and some of them are pretty big. It's been a lot of work, you know, I, I barely even have time to fart. <laughs> so this morning when I go down to get my shiners, there were six in there instead of two dozen. And I checked my uh, voicemail. Oh, I hope you're not butt hurt that I took your shiners. I'll bring you some tomorrow. It's like, so I would be fishing right now if it wasn't for that. I got all my stuff on the ice. I snuck back out for a coffee, which I actually forgot to buy on the way here. And an iced coffee that I'm going to try to keep out there. Pistachio. I took pistachio with me. We have some snacks. She actually loves pistachios. There's none in here. It's crazy. That's not why I named her that. We got some Diet Cokes. Water. Lunchable. You have cat food. Fancy feast. She likes it. And we got some couple of clip bars. Lunchy peanut butter, of course. Bum, bum, bum. So. My stuff's on the ice and I'm sitting here because I want small shiners and there's a bait shop not a mile away, but uh, there's a thousand dollars worth of stuff sitting out there and this is a safe place so I'm not really worried about that. Okay, so far I just uh, took some holes that were already here. I'm using other people's holes. That's how I'll start. That's nice and quiet. What if I start catching fish? without even drilling a hole. Some of them are a little too old. Oh, I already opened them. See? That's fast auger right there. OPH, other people's holes. That's why I use uh, two markers. That one marks the bottom. Now my second marker is how far off the bottom my bait will be. Actually, I, I've got to account for that much more so my tip-up goes in the ice. That's one. Where do you want to put one, miss? That's good auger right there. That one's off, but I saw this one go. I don't know which one went first. Watch this, miss. Woohoo! All I did was kick open some holes that were already here. This feels like a perch. There's a lot of pickle too, so. Another nice perch. Iced coffee. Ice fishing. So I got this stand, I'm gonna unbox it. I've had a lot of huts, I've never had an Eskimo. Okay. It's a three man. So that's the unboxing. Now we have an unbag. Now there's no zipper to get stuff. That's good. It's just a tie bag. Hey 
Hey, this bag's super thick at the bottom. Too bad, I guess. First time. Nice package of heavy duty ice steaks. Nicest ones I've ever seen. Alright. You want to go all the way to the washer? Oh, it's still running. It looks like a perch. Oh, yeah, he's a perch. So this one actually went off while I was setting it up. Something just took off with the shiner. Hopefully it's a perch. But I went to get my camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Nice perch. a lot of line this guy here. Hope this is a perch. This is big. Oh please be a perch. Oh my god. It's a bass. What? What's the matter? I was a mile away from this one. Hope he's still there. One thing I know, I see him right away. Man, I don't miss that. Hope this is a perch. This would be a nice perch. Wow. That's a good one. Look at that. I've missed every fish at this hole. And I don't know why. Maybe it's the big weight. This one's got a bigger weight than anybody else. It doesn't look like the line ran in any direction. The weight might have pulled it down. <laughs> Finally. Come out of here. Come out of there. Be a perch, too. Oh, it's a bass. Huh. Oh, well. On camera. There you go. Pretty thick ice, too. I want to leave most of that water in that hole. Wasn't going to do that. Alright. Oh, that's another nice yellow perch. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Wow. Nice big perch right there. Yeah. Hey, we got one on that pole right there. <laughs> it's 
stuck it in the tripod. Oh, yeah. Set the hook. Holy moly. Probably gonna lose that. At least I ran backwards. I don't know I got him. Couldn't set the hook on him. Pull and drag. Oh, that's a nice yellow perch right there. Nice yellow. Oh, I got another flag too. Wow, that's a nice yellow. Yeah, this one. I need some block here. Oh, he's still rolling. That means we get him. That means we got him. That does mean that we got him. Big perch, too. Wow, hell, that's a perch. Oh, yeah. Nice perch. Look at that one. It's nice. Clean. Nice. Oh, oh it's pickle. Stupid pickle. Huh. Well, I wanted to spend the whole day out on the ice today and pretty much did. I was here before, way before it got light out. And, uh, caught four or five bass, I think four bass, uh, a bunch of perch, and I was after perch, so I got some nice ones. Last week I was talking about beginning ice fishing. Pip-ups are fun, that's what I did today. All I did was come out first thing I did was just kick in some holes that were here from last night started fishing didn't use my electronics I have them I actually caught one perch uh, watching it on my flasher which is fun but uh, I had a pretty nice day without using any major electronics or anything and I love tip-ups you know they're traps oh I got one it's cool black flies I like it this time of year, the perch are moving into the shallows to spawn, so I, I set up relatively shallow. The deepest is about 12 feet. Some of them are 4 feet. They're all spread around now because I move. If you want to catch fish, you got to keep moving them, but pretty much every one went off today, and you know, I think maybe I should put a couple over there. One of the most popular ones is over there, and I saw some guys come out, and they were run into a flag so often I when they left I stuck one in their hole so I got a lot of running to do next time they go off but it's been a lot of fun and you know like I said anybody could have done it because it's there's no electronics all I did was find where the bottom was and lift my bait up anywhere from three to six feet off the bottom and that was it pretty easy I was mentioning in my last video, I guess I just left off to, to uh, fish where you're fishing in the fall, but for one thing is, don't make noise. I, want, I have cleats, but I'm not going to wear cleats if I can walk on the ice without making noise. Guy was walking to me to see how I'm doing with cleats from across the lake. It was killing me. You could hear him coming. Creep, 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 creep. The fish hear that. This is their ceiling right here. This is their ceiling, just like if somebody's having a party upstairs and you get, like, get the broom. Shut up! You know, this is their ceiling. I've come out on thin, not thin ice, but black ice. You can see through it. And guess what the fish do when they hear you coming? They split. So quiet is key, even on the ice. I mean, we have a little bit of cover. They're not going to, probably not seeing us, but they're hearing us, that's for sure. Another good tip is when you're jigging, start jigging from the top down instead of from the bottom up. When your jig starts to go below the ice, the fish can see it from a lot farther away. And as it descends, you can draw fish in from a distance. As you work it slowly down, you know, fish might come in. If they come up from the bottom to take your offering, chances are they're going to nail it and you're going to get them. That's another trick besides just letting it down to the bottom and then working it up to the top. Lots of people do that. You can start at the top and work it down.
Man, it's pretty crazy. There's probably going to be a, a spell of action pretty soon because it was busy all day. It's kind of busy. It was pretty busy all day. It was pretty busy all day. I don't know. It's been a great day out here. I don't know what to say. Out here. Big perch right there, 14 inches long. <laughs> 